we need your support. Click the like buttons below. Now on to the video. Welcome to readtheticker.com. Gold is so 1978. A chart in front of you is gold price from 1976 up to 1980-ish. It went from $100 to $880. Like any market run, it starts off slow, couple of reversals, and then accelerates. A lot of people have uh, correlated what's going on now, 2020, to what's going on, to sorry, to what went on in the 19 in this in the 1970s area. And that's what I want to focus on today. So this is the base that happened in 1976 to 1978. As you can see, it's a typical uh, base pattern, Wyckoff analysis. Uh, you get your range, your bear trap. Okay, you see some strength coming in here. The volume picks up, has a pullback, it fades off the resistance. Right, last point of support. Sorry, last point of supply, I should say. Breaks up, pullback, breaks up, pullback. And these pullbacks are 38 percent, and this pullback here is 50 percent on that rally line there. Now what actually happens when price breaks out, it actually enters into the bear, what they call a bear trap zone. This is a zone where the, the breakout could be false and it could quite frankly reverse. But whatever happened, normally what happens with a breakout, the big boys see this move is happening. And they may not have gotten in a large enough position in this area here. So the first thing they want to do is uh, create some selling or some, um, you know, push the market down so they can accumulate at a better cost average. So they can move markets 10, 15, 20% quite easily. And as you can see here, price mainly advance. And those who are wrongly positioned had to get out, so that's the short covering. And those who wanted to get in, wanted to get in at a better cost average than a new high. So here was a new high. They wanted to push to get the price down, create some story, get the dollar moving up or whatever else they could do. So they could get it down and accumulate on the downswing. Because that's how you get the big orders filled. You do not want to chase price up. And as the price goes up again, they get another smash down so they can help accumulate. So this is all accumulation going on here. Um, so as you can tell by the volume, how the volume changed between there and there, the big boys are really getting involved in this area here. And as, as I said before, they're looking at the chart focus around this area here. How the volume was building up and big accumulations were going on here. And it got up here and obviously it took up to there. And the distribution happened around here. So what's, my, what's the point of this video? Well, the point of this video is that history is rhyming. It's repeating again. We have a situation here. We've had a bit of a base. The move has started. And the big boys are just starting to realize that there's a big move coming on. And they want to get positioned correctly. Now, if I go to the current time, 2020, we've had our base. We have our bear trap. Very, very similar. It's broken through uh, the, the, the um, Wyckoff range resistance we had a fade couple of fades here you can see that broke breaks up and we've had this far advanced here so I would suspect as the big boys want to get involved we've had one pullback here a quick acceleration like in 1978 we're going to get a couple of serious pullbacks probably at least a, a one or fifty percent so I'm saying we could easily easily get a quite a pullback right down to uh, <coughs> 1500 here We'll go a little bit higher, then back down 1500 here as we approach former resistance at this level here. See, here's former resistance. Well, I guess you draw that. Boom. Another break out there. I'll go back to here. There's a big, 50, there's a big correction coming. So as the big boys want to accumulate, they want to get in with a better cost average. And as a, a possible story could be the next three to six months, most likely six months, we're going to get a, a horrible company and economic news um, relating to uh, the realisation of how much damage the virus did to to the economy and to the um, and to companies. Obviously, that's coming out to the, the elections in November, so I'm sure the news is going to be pretty bad as they try and motivate political results. What this news will do will most likely push up the US dollar as that that'll be a trade uh, whether it's a, tr a serious trade that goes into um, you know smashing new highs 110 120 
that's pretty hard to say, but at least 1.5 to 1.89 on the US dollars. That's 105, 108, 109 on the DXY I'm talking about. So any rise in the US dollar will force profit taking of the weak hands in gold and gold stocks. And I'm, I'm suspecting the fertile ground in the next three to six months is going to be the fact that the bad news, you know, throwing out the kitchen sink will have to be washed out and gold will suffer as the US dollar benefits. Now, how much it suffers is going to be very, very interesting because obviously gold is looking very bullish. But it's going to be the fact that the big boys can now start accumulating. They know some bad news is coming. So buying gold now, um, there's no need. You can sit back and relax and watch for this bad news to come through. And I'm sure you'll have a chance to buy the dip because the big boys will be organising to see what happens. And they'll be waiting for, uh, I think on the side note is, these are the facts you want to wait for. The US dollar to go up, gold's pull back, oil to flatten out and to recover, because oil is associated with deflation and reflation, and if oil flatten out and start to appreciate in price just prior to Trump election, that'll be reflation and that'll be bullish for gold. So next three to six months, I'd have to think that gold is the upswing with the high cot reports positioning on the long side have to be flushed out. We can flush out, pull back, big boys are accumulate. They've been accumulating down here, these little minor dips, and now they only get serious as they realise the Fed has gone to printing to infinity. So just to reiterate, reiterate sorry, the playbook is repeating. Very, very similar. The base patterns, resistance, the pullbacks, the accumulation. And who's to say what happens after that? Thanks for watching.